you're sober, you can control yourself. When you're drunk, you've lost that control. And so if you want to refer to somebody as an effing Jew, that's probably the way you really feel. Well, yeah. I I thought so at the time when he, when this movie came out, I read about it and everybody said, well, no, it's, it's not really anti-Semitic. I don't think so. I think it's a good story. But basically, it's how the Jews got together and decided they were going to kill God. Yeah, and find the me, guy, yeah. Yeah. And that's that's basically it. We know from, I, I know from, from listening to his father, Hutton, uh, Gibson is that his father is a just a tremendous Holocaust denier, and uh, he sounds like the nicest guy in the world. I've heard him interviewed. Hmm. Uh, he sounds like the nicest guy in the world. Like he has this great story that that only he knows, and he's going to share it with you. And it's like, well, where were the Jews? Well, during the World War One, they were in Russia, fermenting the revolution and killing 12 and a half million people. Where were they during World War II? No, they weren't in concentration camps. They were in New York. They certainly weren't in West Virginia, where the coal mines were. They wouldn't go where there's work. Oh, that's they're, pathetic. They're where the money is. They're pencil pushers. And he's, go, and he's going on and on, and he's the nicest, he's in the nicest tone of voice you could possibly imagine. And he's and he doesn't know that he's talking to a, a Jewish writer from a from a Jewish magazine that was sent to interview him, and uh, he just so you know he's just so happy to find someone that he, that he can share this wonderful news. He with. just believes everything he yeah, says. Yeah, and huh? he, the guy oh 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 they were in, oh they were in New York. They weren't in concentration camps. Oh no no no, they were, that's where the money is. Uh, and this is the guy that raised Mel Gibson. This is the guy that that. Of course, every guy has to love his father, you know, unless he's a total, uh, total wreck. Yeah. You know, a total near with all. I, you know, I love my dad, but when I think back, I, eh, I'm a little disappointed about some of the things he did. I guess I had a little selective memory about him, and things come rushing back. And well, well every boy, I is, feel a little bit different about him yeah. now. That, but let me tell you, Tim, every boy is in competition with his dad. Starts when he's quite young, he's in competition with his dad over the love of his mother. That's a big thing. That's Freudian psychiatry, yeah. you know. But you always want to outdo your dad. I can remember as a young fellow thinking, I wonder if I could whip my dad in a fight. I used to think about that a lot. <laughs> was afraid to pop him one, but I thought about it. It was, a, it was a thought that was in my mind very much when I was probably, what, 10, 12, 14 years old, someplace in there.